What's up guys, it's your boy Ricky Ross, back with another video. I wanna say thank you so much for everybody out there watching my video. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And for those of you out there who don't know who I am, I go by Ricky Ross. Amazon seller, been doing this for quite some time and I do mentor a few people. If you're interested, my email will be in the description down below. Awesome. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to send packages with DHL in Germany. Uh, basically, how to ship or send packages uh, with the uh, carrier or shipping company called DHL. And DHL is just one of so many uh, shipping companies located in Germany. So in this uh, video, you will learn how to ship packages within Germany and Europe using DHL. It doesn't matter if you sell on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Coughland, uh, which other platform is there? Uh, Auto, um, just any platform, it doesn't matter. Or if you have your own website uh, and you want to ship to a customer, it doesn't matter. You can use, uh, you can learn from this video on how to ship uh, your packages within uh, Germany and also outside Germany. Okay. Um, yeah, although, so the question most people ask is besides DHL, are there other shipping companies that I can use? Of course, there are. Um, we have Hermes, uh, DPD, UPS. Let me think GLS uh, and there's Deutsche Post. There's a lot of them. There's a, there are a lot of different smaller shipping companies that one can use, but these are the major ones. And I will make a video uh, teaching you how to use each carrier because we do use a lot of different carriers uh, because of cost and services and some carriers don't deliver to certain countries. So we tend to use one over the other, but um, they all come in handy at some point. So I'm going to make a video for each carrier, uh, separate videos. But for now, we're going to jump into the video on how to use DHL to send uh, packages. Okay, so come along while I jump into my computer back there. All right. Okay, guys, welcome to my PC. So in this example, I'm going to assume that you sell from Amazon uh, and you're probably doing FBA and let's assume you've just received an order. So you would uh, see the order here in your manage orders. Uh, you have two options in Amazon. You buy shipping or confirm shipment. So buy shipping means you're going to buy directly from Amazon or within Amazon. Okay. So here, since we're going to be buying the, um, shipping label from outside Amazon, uh, from DHL, we're going to click on confirm shipment. Okay. And as you can see here, it's going to give you ship to, uh, the, the person you're shipping to. And then once you do have the uh, tracking number, you would uh, select your carrier. So in this instance, we're going DHL uh, option here. We'll just put packet. And then once we get our tracking number, we put it here and uh, ship out to the person. Awesome. So now we're going to go to DHL. That's where we're going to go to uh, and take it from there. So I'm going to bring the screen here. Okay, good. So now I want you to go to dhl.de. Okay. That's where you need to go to. Uh, I'll probably put the link in the description down below. So here you should, once you put dhl.de, it should bring you to their front page and you want to go to mouse over to shipping parcels and it says online franking. Uh, and if it's in German on your side, you have the option here to switch from English to German or German to English. Okay. All right. So here we are. 
uh, DHL uh, normally tells you how much the uh, each parcel costs depending on the weight and dimensions. Okay, now we're going for a standard shipping label. Okay, and our destination country is Germany. So meaning that the person that we're shipping to is inside of Germany. Okay, and uh, this particular um, article or um, uh, order uh, is pretty, it's a small order. It's under two kilogram. So we're going to go through this uh, options we have here. So here, pay, please pay attention to the size, the weight and the dimensions. The first option here tells you it's three euro ninety nine. The it means the weight of the box or packet that you're shipping cannot be more than two kilograms. OK, and the dimensions here shows you it must be thirty five centimeters by 25 centimeters by 10 centimeters. This is the height, the width, uh, sorry, the length, the width and the height. OK, so the box cannot be more than 35 centimeters long, uh, 25 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters high. Now, it says here that you have no liability and no uh, tracking. So this is the reason why it's three euro 99. You have no liability uh, insurance, meaning if it, if it gets lost, sorry, uh, they're not going to pay you for it. Or if it gets damaged, they're not going to pay you for it. And the tracking, you don't get any tracking either. So you, when you use this, you're, you're shipping entirely at your own risk. Okay. That's the same thing for the four euro 79 option. Uh, except here, the the weight is the same, but the only thing that changed is the dimensions of the box. You can ship a much bigger box, 60 by 30 by 15. Now, um, if I were to choose this, or let's say I choose a four euro 79, okay, not the three. If I were to choose a four euro uh, 79, you'll see it lights up green. And then it tells me to go strictly to the address and then go forward. Okay. But in this instance, we need tracking. Um, for us, uh, we usually need tracking. So we know, okay, that the sh how we want to know if it got to the customer or not. So here you have your third option, which is two kilogram. Same size as the first two options uh, and the height, the dimensions are the same size as the four euro 79. The, the difference in price, the difference here is you have liability insurance and you have shipment tracking. Now, I also want to take your attention down below here. These are extra services. Okay. You don't have to use them if you don't need them. Okay. So for example, here, if your, um, goods or your box is extremely expensive, you can get additional insurance. So here it says up to 2,500 and here up to 25,000, but you see you pay more 19 euro 99 or six euro 99 for one of the other. So, then you have what's called a roll. If your shipment is shaped like a roll, then you have to pay an additional one euro ninety nine. Uh, so here it says bulky goods. Is your shipment oversized or not box shaped? So what are they talking about? Let's say maybe you have a guitar. Okay. Then you would say, okay, I'm shipping a guitar. It's not shaped like a box. This is probably uh, what you would need to use, but pay attention to the weight. <laughs> the weight cannot be more than two kilogram. So this would be your final price here for it. Okay. Then let's assume you were, you wanted to ship to somebody and 
you don't have the money to pay. You want them to pay. You would then go with the cash on delivery. If you select cash on delivery, they charge an additional eight euro ninety nine. So if you look at the price here, it's fifteen euro fifty two. It means six euro fifty five fifty three plus eight euro ninety nine. Okay. Then here, uh, you would then put your uh, what we call uh, EBAN number here um, and put your BIC uh, number and your uh, account number here, okay? So who is this service for? Cash on delivery, okay. Assuming you sold an item to somebody within Germany and that person, you guys agree that he only pays you when you deliver, meaning once you send the package to him, he pays you. So once the DHL delivery man brings the package to his house, the delivery man will not give him the package until the person who bought the item from you gives the delivery man the cash, okay? This is the reason why you're putting your EBAN number here. This is your bank account number information here. Okay, you need to put all the information here and the amount you're expecting. Let's say you're expecting, I don't know, 300 euros. You would put that amount here. Uh, let's say 300 euros. That's the amount you would put. Of course, your name here, uh, BJ Jones, just... Uh, and then your, of course, your bank account information here, the EBAN number, the big number, and the purpose of um, what you're doing, a uh, sale of Nike, Jordan shoes, something like that, okay? So the delivery man would then show up at that person's door uh, and tells him, okay, hey, you have to give me 300 euros, cash he has to give the delivery man 300 euros cash and then the delivery man then hands him the box or the package and uh goes away with the money that's what the cash on delivery is all about uh it's pretty handy too i've used it uh, if you're selling things on let's say ebay klein and zeigen uh you could use this option if you guys agree on it because it costs the the buyer, whoever is buying from you, it cost them a little bit more. Okay, then here you have a visual age check. So assuming you're selling something to somebody um, or you're selling an item that requires uh, that they check the age of the person, maybe cigarette or maybe alcohol, then this is where the delivery man would check, physically check the ID of the person if the person is 16 or 18. Either one, they would then uh, check, and that's where the one euro ninety nine uh, charge uh, cost comes into place. Okay, so <clears throat> now the other ones are almost self explanatory. You have a top seller here of six euro ninety nine. Uh, now the pay attention to the weight of your box. Your box has to be or cannot be more than five kilograms. The the uh, dimensions of your box cannot exceed 120 centimeters by 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Okay, here you get a liability of up to 500, and you also get um, tracking. Same thing here, and you can also for this um, six euro ninety nine service, you can also add the additional services if you want. Uh, same thing here at 10 euro 99 or 49 sorry your box cannot be more than 10 kilogram and then the dimension uh states here 120 by 60 by 60. um now some people sometimes ask okay what if my box is let's say 120.5 by 60.2 or 60. Point uh, three. Now I have shipped something that I was slightly, just slightly over the dimensions, 
but not by one centimeter. So I, based on my experience, I've, I've gotten away with something that's been slightly over 120 centimeters. Okay. But not, uh, overly, uh, not like tremendously over 120, uh, cent. so 120.2, 120.1, that was about what we saw and noticed. So, but you have to be really careful because the HL is really strict on this, uh, dimensions and they're really strict on the weight. If the weight is over 10 kilograms, you might get it back, uh, or they might charge you extra, uh, send you, if they have your, uh, I think email address or your, just your contact information, they'll send you a, an extra bill saying that your package was either over two kilogram or over five kilogram or over 10 kilogram. But most times they just return it. Yes. If you're, for example, if you buy this top seller, which states five kilogram and your box is, let's say 5.85 or let's say six kilogram, they'll return it. They just return that box back to you and you've lost six euro 99. They don't refund you six euro 99. So be very careful. Okay. Same thing here. You have a 31.5 kilogram packet and, uh, the charger is 19 euro, uh, 99. Okay. And pay attention here. It says 31.5 kilogram. So in our experience, we've noticed that, um, well, we've never shipped anything, um, over 10 kilogram with, um, DHL. If we have something that's usually over, uh, 10 kilogram, we normally ship it with a different, different, uh, carrier like uh, UPS or, um, DPD or GLS. And like I said, I'll make another video concerning those carriers, uh, in another, uh, video. So, so basically we're going to go ahead and select the five, uh, Euro 49 package here because we want tracking. Okay. Even though our package is not up to 60 by 30 by 15. So we want tracking. So we're going to go ahead and go to address. So address here is very self-explanatory. You just put your first, uh, now this is the recipient, the person you're shipping to. So we're just going to put the name here, uh, John Doe, uh, then the post code, let's say two, two, zero, eight, nine, uh, it's Hamburg, the street, let's say events. Buns Becker, uh, oops, Buns Becker, Chasse, okay, let's see, 18, oops, or 15, doesn't matter, oops, what? oh, here, you see, it's not letting me put the number because it's supposed to be down here, you're supposed to put the house number down here, and this is where we, some people make mistakes also. Uh, and then the destination country is already there. The recipient's email is not mandatory. You don't have to put it. Uh, so you don't have to, if you don't have it, but if you do have it, put it in cause then they get, uh, updates as the package travels. And of course the sender information, you put your information down here and your email address down here also. Uh, and you can, if you're registered, like, uh, if you are registered with the website, with the DHL website, you can, s it will bring your sender information up automatically. Like it did to me here because I'm registered with them, but registering with them does not save you money. Just so you know, it's just so you can easily save information and not have to retype your name or your address over and over again. Okay. So like now, since I have this person's name, I can save it in my address book. I just save the address in case next time, if I wanted to use that same recipient, I could just come to my address book 
and it has a bunch of addresses here with different names and people I've shipped to in the past and I can just select their name and just use it. That's just the only reason why I am registered with them. Okay. So it saves you time. That's, that's a good option for me. Okay. So now here it says add shipping options. They say, do you want the shipment to be picked up? Meaning, do I want them to come to my house and pick it up? If I say yes, they charge three euros for that. You see it? And I can set the date uh, and they can just come to my address and pick it up. Okay. But I'm not doing that. And they say, okay, they say you can do a pickup and you can do a preferred day. So you can select a day, a date when you want them to come. All this costs you extra. So, um, yeah, there's some people who need the service. Uh, so they can, you can set it up here on their website. Tell them, okay, I want you to come um, Saturday, um, July 13th. And although it doesn't tell you the time, uh, they just come. Let's see what it says here. If there's a time uh, with the preferred day service, you decide the working day, Monday through Saturday, on which you want your parcel to, parcel to be delivered. If we are unable to carry out the delivery attempt on the book preferred day, the service charge will be automatically refunded to you within 10 days. Please hand over your shipments to DHL two to six working days before the preferred delivery day. Okay. Anyways, um, you can see here, if you have this option, if you want it, you can get it, but we're not using it. We're just going to take it to a DHL store and drop it off. Okay. So now we're going to continue to shopping cart. So once we get to the shopping cart, we see the recipient's uh, information here and the sender's information here. So this is where you need to double check, make sure everything is correct. This is the size of the box we're sending. Uh, the weight is two uh, kilogram. Uh, we have the liability insurance and we have the tracking. And if we go down, it shows us how we can pay. So we could pay with PayPal, credit card, or with our bank account. So in this instance, I want to pay with PayPal. I simply click on I hereby accept. And if I click on uh, pay by PayPal, it's going to bring up the uh, PayPal, my PayPal information. Uh, but I hope, oops, it did. <laughs> this was supposed to be an example. It, it charged my PayPal for this, but uh, no panic. The good thing about this is I can cancel this shipment if uh since i don't want it this was supposed to be an example i can cancel it so i will show you how to cancel a shipment in case you either made this mistake like i just did or you simply don't want to use this um there's a ship a shipment tracking here it's giving me a shipment tracking I can go ahead and just cancel it and I'll show you guys how to do that next. Okay. So guys, I uh, just want to show you how, in case you just made the mistake I just made right now, uh, without downloading the invoice or downloading the shipping label or taking, I mean, this is the tracking number, the shipment number. Uh, let's see. I just want to copy this for now. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down here. And you can see here, it says, uh, did you buy the wrong shipping label? You see, you can cancel shipping labels that have not been printed yet. So I'm going to click on cancel. Okay. And now this is also where having an account is also good because it's asking me to log in and it's going to log me in and it's going to, okay. So this is the uh shipping label the cart number uh it says cancel all yes i want you to cancel all and this is yeah like we just did john doe von specker chasse sender okay and here it wants me to fill out this security is m i guess a seven two 
E H. Looks like an H, but it could be an N also. Awesome. That that worked out. Cool. So cancellation was successful. A confirmation was sent to the following email address. That's good. So back to shopping cart. Great. So we've canceled it. We ordered that by mistake. And I just showed you also how to cancel it. So when you, if you do that, don't panic. You can always cancel it. And they'll refund the money back to my PayPal. All right, guys. So uh, now, assuming we had used uh, or we wanted to use that uh, for those of you sh um, shipping on Amazon, we would then come here. We have the tracking number and we would just simply come here and just paste the tracking number. That was a tracking ID. And once we click confirm shipment, that's it. It shows that we've uh, purchased a tracking uh, shipment from Amazon, uh, from uh, DHL. And then we come here and simply put the tracking and ship uh, the, uh, and, and confirm the shipment. Uh, now, as far as um, printing, so assuming uh, we, I'm going to uh, bring up another um, tracking a shipping label that I've used so you guys can see what a shipping label looks like. Uh, I'm going to just give me a second. I'm going to pause the video here. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you guys what the uh, shipping label would look like. It would look something similar to this. And you can see it has a scissors uh, sign here. So you would have to print this out with your regular printer uh, and then cut this part and then stick this uh, section here with the barcodes on your box. Take the box to a DHL kiosk or DHL uh, post and ship it out. And it's that simple. And this is for... Um, if you're shipping, you know, locally, and it's the same thing if you're shipping internationally. Uh, so I wanted to go through real quickly. If the address were international, like here it says Serbia, I'm going to uh, go through what, how you would go about um, getting that. Okay, so let's stick here. Let's go back to DHL. Uh, hold up. Let's do this. Open another tab. We'll go to DHL.de. Okay. Um, let's go to where it says online franking. Okay. Assuming you were shipping outside of Germany. Okay. Especially to a country that requires um, customs for you to fill out customs paper. So let's assume you're shipping to Switzerland, okay? Let's say you're shipping from Germany to Switzerland. Although it's in Europe, you still need to fill out customs paper. So here, DHL gives you options uh, to choose from. So once again, you need to know the weight of your box, the dimensions of your box. As you can see, the weight here says two kilogram, which is for eight euro ninety nine. The dim the dimension here says thirty five by twenty five by three centimeters. Pay very much attention to that. It's cheaper, but you must make sure that your box does not exceed this dimension. Okay. Now here. They don't offer insurance, nor do they offer tracking. Uh, and this is in German. I'm going to switch it. Okay, it's, it's in English, sorry. Um, now, I want to bring you down here. It says, although this doesn't offer tracking or ship uh, uh, or insurance, you could come here and let's say you wanted to get insurance for it. You could click on that and then you could get insurance for this particular uh, service here that doesn't have insurance, but they don't offer tracking. Okay, they don't offer additional tracking, only insurance. 
So if you need something with tracking, let's go to the next one, which is 15 euro 49. Let's choose this. Now it says the packet cannot be more than two kilogram. Your dimensions here, it says the length plus the width plus the height must equal or cannot exceed 90 centimeters. And on top of that, they say no side longer than 60 centimeters. I know this is very confusing, but I'll show you a diagram explaining this. Okay. Um, your box, your length, your width, and your height must all, when you add them up, must equal to 90 centimeters or under. Okay. And they say no side can be longer than 60 centimeters. So if your box, uh, no side can be longer than 60 centimeters, but at the same time, if it's exactly 60 centimeters, it means let's assume your length is 60 centimeters. It means your width and your height at that point cannot be more than 30 centimeters. Because if you add 60 plus 30, it gives you 90 centimeters. So it means your length can be 60 centimeters. Your width can be 15 centimeters or 10 centimeters or 12, whatever. But then your height must then bring the total to 90. So if your width were 15, your height can't be more than 15. It must be 15. If your width was 10, your height would have to be 20 centimeters. So it would equate to 90 at the end of the equation. I'll try to draw up a diagram so you guys can understand that better. So now here you have insurance up to 50 euros plus tracking. You could put tracking on top of this for two euro 50. So you could add tracking and insurance and what would have cost you 1549 would now cost you 1799 but it includes tracking and insurance now this is to switzerland pay attention please now the next top seller is a 5 kg packet it gives you once again the dimensions 120 by 60 by 60 this has insurance and this has tracking so if you selected this uh, unless you needed extra service down here, you would only have to pay 26 uh, euro 99. And then we go to the next one, uh, same dimensions, but now the weight is up to 10 kilogram. Dimensions stay the same, gives you uh, insurance up to 500 euros. Uh, the, there's tracking. Uh, so you also don't need any extra unless you want it. And it just goes on and on and on. So you have 48.99, the weight is 20 kilograms, and you have 62.99, weight is 31 kilogram. They all have this all the way from 26, which is top seller, to the highest seller, 62.99. They all have the same dimensions. The only difference are the weights, okay? So let's assume we're getting the top seller, okay? We've chosen it. We've chosen top seller and we're going to address. Uh, let me go into my recipient address and see if I have any address here. Okay. I think I do from Switzerland. So I'm just going to select one. So you see, because I have an account or I registered rather with DHL, it saves those information. Okay. So I have an address going to Switzerland. Uh, telephone number is not necessary or is not mandatory. Sorry. And the recipient's email is now mandatory. So I've got all the information here. So here is where it now tells me to fill the customs declaration form. So the form must be completed in the language of the customs authority of the destination country. Um, I usually put everything in English. So here I'm just going to put merchandise and you have the option to select anything you want here. So I just put merchandise and here is saying the shipment content. Okay. 
I need to tell them what's in the uh, shipment. So I'm just going to say hair cream. Okay, I'm putting it in English. If you want, you could put it in German too. And what quantity? Just one. Um, and then it says, what is the weight per content? What is the weight of this hair cream? Uh, this hair cream weighs about 800 grams. So I'm going to go 0 0.8. That's 800 grams. Okay. Then it says uh, value per content. So I'm just going to put uh, the value here is 12 euros. Okay. And here they ask for a customs tariff number. I don't have one. I uh, usually don't put anything here. Country of origin is where I put my country, Germany. Okay. So I leave it there. And then total weight. So the total weight, which would include the box or the papers I have in the box, I just put one kilogram. Okay. And they want additional information. Uh, they, I have additionally declared the consignment directly to customs. The field must be only confirmed if an additional export declaration has been made by you directly to customs, which is mandatory for shipments with a good, uh, a goods value greater than 1000 euros. Okay. So here I have additionally declared the consignment directly to customs. I have not, so I'm not going to check this box. Um, so here it says, uh, what if, um, there's uh, please decide what you want to do. If the pa uh, parcel cannot be delivered, just return it to me. Uh, if it cannot be delivered. So I'm going to continue. So there we have the, uh, individual's name, uh, my name and here once again, I can pay for it, but I'm not going to do it. I already have, uh, some i'll show you what the end result would look like so you guys can see what form what the form with a customs paper looks like i'm going to bring it up here in a minute okay um i have um one here which i uh did uh to belarus which required a customs paper so i'm going to use that as an example so this is what you would get after you fill out the form. You would get the uh, the paper which you would fill out, um, which you've already filled out. It comes up automatically on the paper and you just have to print this out. But the most important thing here is the customs paper, this paper right here. So here you would uh, need to, you've already filled out everything. So this customs uh, paper would be would would need to be attached to the parcel. Okay, I've already filled out everything, and then you'd need to sign and date it down below. So it tells them what's the. Uh, let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. Okay, so it tells them what the item is, description, the weight, the value, uh, the total value, and then I uh, print this out, sign it attach it to the box and then ship it out, uh, attach it with the shipment label and then ship it out. So that's how you ship both locally and internationally with DHL. Okay, guys, uh, I hope this was helpful to some people out there. Um, and if you have any questions, please, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Uh, if I missed out anything, feel free to add also, maybe I made a mistake somewhere, but, uh, overall, this is just how you would ship, uh, with DHL, both locally and internationally. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Once again, it's your boy, Ricky Ross, uh, Amazon seller. Uh, please like and share this video to somebody who might need it. Uh, and also subscribe to my channel. It helps the channel grow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm out. <laughs>